What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new White Dwarf number 93, dated 07 November 2015. So, of course, this issue is all about the Horse Heresy, if you haven't heard uh, yet. Well, the Horse Heresy is coming. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a closer look at the issue, but first, before we get to that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and great promo codes that help you save on all those hobby things you buy monthly. Become a veteran of the Long War today. So really not neat little uh, kind of white dwarf. They give you a little pin uh, that you, you know you can put on your uh, bag or whatever. You know it's pretty cool. I would have preferred a miniature, obviously, but they put a lot of time and money into I guess producing uh, the you know the miniature in the box set. So you know sometimes you don't always get what you want. I feel like, uh, but they did give us one for Age of Sigmar. So I don't know. That being said, yo, why the, why the space marine? Hey, space marines are people too, guys. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, uh, they're obviously very well done miniatures. I mean, just breathtaking stuff. I mean, nobody expected this stuff to be this good. They just look great. From the Cataphracty to the Contemptor uh, to the two special characters, just good looking stuff. Now, here's the actual box set itself completely assembled. You got the four reversible tiles, you know, all the miniatures, the dice, the command tokens, your um, cover here. You got your breaching doors, your action tokens, all of the stuff that goes along with it. Definitely check out my unboxing video of of the um, you know horse heresy betrayal at Cal so you know when it when it is available that will be super spectacular we'll probably do one on that and then one on how to play the actual game itself because it looks reading the, reading through the white dwarf it looks pretty fantastic so there's some closer shots of the guys more guys even more guys how about that now there is a couple of good features in here like like we always see with white dwarf um, besides the them just trying to sell stuff like the new um, we'll get to it in the release there, but you're going to see there's the Elimination Maniple, uh, then the Battle Demi Company, and the Battle Maniple, and of course those are individual formations that are part of those respective books, um, which uh, considerable savings too. A lot of people added them up, and uh, when they realized that they were, they were such a good deal uh, savings-wise, now that was uh, does, de definitely cool to see on the part of Games Workshop. The Paint Splatter article this week is uh, kind of four pages, which really makes up for missing, I think, the last two weeks. So you get the Ultramarines, you get the Cataphracty Terminators themselves, showing you some new gray color schemes and some how to do the little details on the claws. and then, You know, nothing we really haven't seen before, but the reds are pretty striking, in my opinion. They show you that really rich orange-red. Now, this is a little different. This is more rich than the kind of uh, crimson uh, guys over here, the tactical marine. So two different color palettes that I really dig. And then it gets into basically how to play the game. The game itself takes place in the arcologies underneath the planet of Kalth itself. You know, because the star goes, um, I guess goes critical, doesn't exactly go supernova because I guess then it blows up or whatever. But either way, so a bunch of, you know, solar flares, poisonous radiation, you know, kill even a Stardis. So they got to go underground. And then when you go underground, they find each other eventually and there's going to be battles. There was a firefight. So here it all is. And they basically show you how to play the game, which is really interesting because you can squad up dudes to help prevent, um, you know, taking a lot of damage because there's there's something to be said, uh, you know, John Madden style. What they got to do here is roll more dice than the other guy because that really helps out, right? So there's weapons to give you more dice for your attacks. Uh, having more guys in a squad gives you more dice to defend or more wounds basically to take away. They don't really call it wounds, but you kind of get the general idea about how it plays. And two guys, you know, there's diff different structures to how, how many guys can be in each squad. Um, like you can have up to three tacticals, you can have a, a Terminator squatted up with one tactical, or you can have the Contemptor, it just kind of depends on what you want to do there. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's really cool, like, kind of how it all works, and there's benefits, and there's drawbacks, there's critical effects that you can roll, like, this is a critical effect result, that's a hit result, that's a shield result, um, you know, on the dice, and there's one blank. So a lot of different things coming into play basically on how to play it and they give you basically a rundown of the game in here as well so check that out it's pretty neat um, and a lot of stores this weekend are going to have preview copies of the actual Horse Heresy uh, box set so run down to your local store I'm hearing from different sources that they might Games Workshop might be sold out of these box sets until January. I'm hearing that's when the next wave comes. Don't really know what's going on exactly. Um, if you want to get a pin to match your Ultramarine pin, pick up the Warhammer Visions. 
uh, this week. So you get the, um, well, I guess it's at the top of the month, but anywho, so you can get the little crazy word bear dude there. And next week in the White Dwarf is a free painting poster, which we kind of saw in the past, but now we're getting a new one. Uh, they changed up a lot of the colors, actually. I think there's 12 different colors they got rid of and um, just kind of simplified some of the, the basic mechanics and things like that. So as far as releases go, obviously the Betrayal of Kelth is coming out uh, next week, $150 re retail. You got the Battle Demi Company uh, coming out for Space Marines, a retail of $220. The Battle Maniple for $215, and then the Elimination Maniple for $150. And like I said, there's significant savings here, uh, even at full retail, if you manage to get them at a discount uh, by, you know, one of... Uh, some of the many online discounters out there, you can definitely do that as well, and you'll save even more. We recommend Dicehead Games here at Spiky Bits. Uh, they're a great retailer, and we've done a lot of work with them in the past, so check them out. It's dicehead.com. And then there's a couple of new books coming out, um, The Unremembered and uh, what is that? Betrayal at House itself. Oh, and then there's like a combo book, limited edition between the two uh, that, that actually has both of the books in it. So a couple of new little stories from Horace Heresy about what's going on that kind of expounds uh, on, you know, the no, no fears, kind of like right at the end of the Horse Heresy, they basically all go underground. We don't really know what happens. That kind of expounds on some of the... Uh, uh, fluff and uh, what's going on in the arcologies themselves and then if you can also pick up where is it I got one close the McCrag's Honor the new Horse Heresy graphic graphic novel that tells you what happens with the fight between the Infertus uh, Infertus Rex I believe and also the Pride of McCrag which is the f uh, flagship or is it the Pride of, Pride of Ultramar I don't know one of the two that uh, they basically go after each other into the war and are never heard from again. But no, it's a cool story. Uh, and if you're into, you know, like, hey, I wonder what happened to that flagship that was chasing down the other flagship at the end of No, No Fear. Well, pick up that graphic novel and you'll find out. Because <laughs> it's a really cool story, I feel like. So, you know, I just wanted to talk for a little bit or just a minute or two, on, you know, what's going on at Games Workshop, because it seems like, you know, they're putting out, they're really making some good moves lately, and, you know, I did a rant video early this week about, basically, you know, kind of um, how the Kalyan book that had the Tau in it, along with, you know, some Space Marine rules, um, was a really good deal, and it was a really good way to see these splash releases and these things come out, and now we're hearing that this, you know, this whole, like, new uh, Age of Darkness, the Horse Heresy kind of thing might be its own line, its own product line to replace, you know, Lord of the Rings or Hobbit or whatever. I mean, they've had that property for 15 years. So let's be honest, I, I don't, I, there's a lot of people out there that say they just picked it up just to, just so other companies wouldn't get it, so, so to speak. Um, I can't obviously say one way or the other because I'm not them. I, I don't, I don't know. What, what the whole end, end game was there, but I can tell you this much that, you know, uh, Space Marine Cell, uh, <laughs> you know, in Games Workshop just se it seems to find more and more creative ways to give us the Space Marines that we seem to want, even though we say we don't want them, but we still buy them, I feel like. So I feel like on one hand they're listening to us, but on another hand they're just kind of giving us what we want and maybe we don't know about it quite as much as we think we do. Um, but, you know, that being said, power is perception, you know, power is reality, all that re reality is perception, you know, kind of however you want to look at it, I feel like. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about the hearts and minds. And for right now, uh, you know, Games Workshop really seems to be doing a good job of that, you know, putting out this sweet deal with all these cool looking models in it. You know, maybe we'll see some box sets. Maybe we'll see this continuing as an expansion. This is listed as a core set, air quotes. So I don't know why there would be... Um, uh, a core set uh, kind of um, I guess moniker attached to it if it wasn't going to be something that sat on the shelves and was part of something bigger now we're hearing that this is a one and done kind of print run and whatever they made is all that's going to be out there and whether that's true or not it's hard to say whether they're completely sold out into the under Christmas also hard to say it could be promotion it could be you know uh, perceived um, value I guess in, in, in that regard but at the end of the day, it really just comes down to, hey, is it worth it for you to pick it up? Chances are probably yes. I mean, the savings, whether it goes to plastic or whether you value the, these plastics over the forge old ones, uh, the forge old resin models, 
obviously either way it's definitely a savings I, I feel like for $150 um, you know and in most uh, countries currencies I feel like it's also a very good deal as well so that being said I think it's a win-win for a lot of people out there and it's a really interesting time because now we're seeing with these Calion books you know in these types of splash expansions that they can do and now do like a one drop Horus Heresy box you know there's still time left in the month and we're seeing these new and new rumors of like you know chaos things and you know a one-off clan pack releases of the assassins and things like that so it seems like games workshop it's always been rumored that they're going to go this whole like splash release thing but how cool would it be with every week you just don't know what's going to come out it could be assassins it could be archeon riding a crazy four-headed dragon it could be new horse heresy it could be age of sigmar it could be a new tau book it could be commander shadow sun it could be new tyranids like you just don't know like you think oh man week after week after week after week it's going to be like tau or week after week after week it's going to be space marines well now it could be anything and that's just a really exciting proposition for all of us i feel like because it gives you a reason to keep up with you know checking out the white dwarf checking out your local game store checking out your local gw and just staying entrenched in the hobby that we all really enjoy whether you're you know a collector or a hobbyist it's it's all of these things that will require you to you know maintain your foot in the door so to speak uh, into this hobby and I think it's a really exciting time and I could I really think Games Workshop's making a lot of good moves starting uh, starting with the Calium book and continuing with the Horus Heresy so don't F it up GW you're doing good things thanks for watching my video uh, review of the new White Dwarf in 93 finally the Long War Kickstarter is here. We are trying to raise money to improve all elements of our videos. Cameras, microphones, lighting, and even editing software. We're more than just a company dedicated to bringing hobby back, we're a community. Whether you enjoy all of our content for free here on YouTube, or you're a member of the fast growing Hall of Veterans, and you enjoy early exclusive access, we're part of the same community. It's not all business though. All the Long War swag that you guys have been waiting for is available on the Kickstarter. Please stop by, check out our Kickstarter, and thank you for the support.